find the equivalent equation in rectangular form. So this one also here, um, we have polar form, which is ours and thetas, and we're going to turn it into rectangular form. So we're going from polar to rectangular. So now for this problem, this one's a little different here, because the first thing I think of when I'm doing this are those equations. And here they are. So what we're going to do with these is we're trying to make it look like... Um, these equations so I can either get it into X's and Y's here. But this right here, when I look at that, that's a 2 cos theta, and that's an R cos theta. So we need some variation here. So we're going to have to create something a little more here. So what we're going to do here, for this issue here, if I had an R on that one and that one, that would really help then because then I can just easily say X and Y. So that's our thoughts here. So what that means is I can multiply R by both sides. And it's legal. Remember, we're dealing with equations here, so we can multiply the same thing by both sides. So even R's, even thetas if we needed to, but there would be really no, no reason for thetas because I don't have a theta equals for any of those equations over there. So anyways, we're going to multiply both sides by R. So then I'm going to get on the left R squared equals negative 2r cosine theta, because I can write this in any order when it's times because um, it's multiplication, it's commutative. All right, so this is going to be minus 2r sine of theta when I distribute here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is now we're going to do our subbing because I hopefully you can see that this is r cos theta, that's r cos theta. That's our sine theta. That's our sine theta. The twos are just going to go along for the ride. Okay, so then that's going to result in, and also on the other side, notice this. We got our r squared here, and we got our r squared here. So that is also going to multiply over very nicely, or actually substitute nicely over to the other equation. So x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, and this is going to be negative 2x minus... 2y. So there's our equation there. Now can we do anything more to make it fun and fancy? Mm. For a test, I would be good with this answer, but for the book, they want you to go further, of course. Okay, so anyways, not that that's a bad thing. Um, if we're going to go according to the book, we got to move everything over to the same side when there are x's and y's and stuff. And I'm going to rearrange them so I put my x's side by side. And remember, I'm always thinking addition here, even though I may be subtracting. Um, I think of that as a negative if I'm subtracting. So plus y squared, um, and that's going to be plus 2y if I move it over. And that equals 0. So now what I'm thinking is completing the square. Hopefully you guys are familiar with that. If not... We're going to talk a little bit about it. So I'm just going to look at these two components first. So when I look at those two components, they're going to an x squared plus a 2x. So I'm going to ask the question, what do I need to add to this to make it a perfect squared trinomial? So that means the rule is I take half of b because I'm thinking of this, ax squared plus bx plus c. And I'm, so I'm looking for this c here. That's what I'm really looking for here. So if I take half of b, so this would be my b there, that positive 2. So if I take half of that, so I'm going to take 2 over 2, that's going to give me 1, and I'm going to square it. So this is actually going to give me 1 when I take half of it and square it. So that tells me if I add a 1 to this, or make this c1 here, that that would make x squared plus 2x plus 1 a perfect square trinomial. So then for the y's here, I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm thinking ay squared plus by plus c over here now. Now I'm going to look at this positive 2 there, and I'm going to take half of it and square it. And I'm going to get a 1 for that one too. So I need to add 1 to this one as well. So really what I need to do is I need to add... 2 to the left side. And then I can split it up into that one, and I can split it up into that one. So that's what I need to add to both sides. So then that means I'm going to have to add 2 to this side as well. OK, 
Okay, so that's going to be a 0 plus 2. Okay, so anyway, so this is what we're going to end up with then. And I'm just going to kind of write it out. x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus y squared plus 2y plus 1. And that's going to equal 2. Okay, now from here, I'm just going to factor this thing right here. Just those three together. And I got a plus between them, so then I'm going to add them together. And when I factor this, it's going to factor into x plus 1 times x plus 1. And then when I factor the y, the y is going to factor into y plus 1 times y plus 1. And that's going to equal 2. So my answer for these is going to be x plus 1 squared plus y plus 1 squared equals 2. And if you notice, or you may or may not know this, but this is actually equation of a circle. And that's what we actually end up with for this one. So that's what it turns out to be. And that's the answer probably the homework is going to want for this. So again, it's just that idea of completing the square. If you have any questions, email me, text me, or phone me. That's the problem.